Hello friends. In this lecture, I would like to explain another topic that is flat slabs. So here I will give the name of flat slabs. So generally, I already explained one way slab, two way slab, general slabs in our channel only. But today I will explain flat slabs. Means without beams, we will create drop panels and then slabs directly. So choose your default location wherever you want to save the files type will be analytical units will be metric and then click create a new model see here you will get a default user interface like this again go to beam geometry grids beam grid option so here you will get the grid in xy plane so go to edit option you can change this one into xz plane click ok so I will create the slab panel of some 4 meters by 5 meters or 5 meters by 4 meters. So you know the ratio of longer to shorter span which is less than 2 which comes under the 2 way slab like that. Okay. So for that I will go with 5 meters span by 4 meters. So I will just taking some ratio. It is not one way and a 2 way slab like that. I am just showing the flat slabs here 5 meters by 4 meters of one panel. Again. To come out of this command, please click escape and then close the grid. See here, so four beams and four nodes will be created here. And again, for the flat slab, what we have to do means you can select these two nodes. Okay, for that, select node cursor, select these two nodes. So I am copying the nodes for that, control C, control V for the paste. Then in the x direction, just for 0 0.5 meters. I will create panel for that I will take 0 0.5 meters okay and again this direction also I will select these two nodes and again control C for copying the nodes control V for pasting the nodes here minus 0 0.5 for backward which is click ok here and again I am selecting these two four nodes and again control C for copying the nodes in the Z direction control V for pasting the nodes in the Z direction taking 0 0.5 meters and again click this one and again select these four nodes okay and again control c for copying the nodes control v for pasting the nodes and again minus 0 0.5 okay click ok so here it will be four nodes will be created then what we have to do means go to geometry add plate option add these four plates like panels draw panels okay and again you have to add this four plates and again we have to add these four plates and again we have to add these four plates so i am showing one simple structure again i will extend the structure to multi story okay then go to select again take the plates parallel to the plates sorry just to take the plate cursor in the select take the plate cursor select all the plates there will be four plates in the four edges and then click right click with the mouse here you will get one move command okay or f2 so in the y direction just i will drop this panel up to some 0 0.15 meter thickness 15 centimeters so for downward side i will go with minus 0 0.15 click ok see here these four plates will be moving downwards and again i will take geometry add plate option and I will go with, I will add with again these four nodes at the edges. Okay. And again, I will delete these four beams. Why? Because for flat slab, there will be no beams. Only plates along with the columns and drop panels. For that, what I will do? Select beams parallel to the, beams parallel to the X direction, beams parallel to the Z direction. And you can press the first escape command to come out of this command and then click delete option so you can delete all the beams so there will be only plates here okay then what we have to do means again in the view you will go to the front view and again select only two nodes for that select go to the node cursor and again select these two nodes and again view in 3d see here whether four nodes are connected or not and again go to geometry translational repeat sorry geometry translational repeat command in the y direction so just i will go with 3 meters for that minus 3 
with the link steps i want columns here click okay see here entire one single bay single story will be created in the 3d wise here it consists of columns wrap panels and plates first come step by step first i will go with the properties for the define the property rectangular property so y direction i will go with 0.4 and z direction i will go with 0.3 click add so whatever the property i taken here select pa parallel to the y direction assign to the selected beams and again next thickness of the plates so i will go with just 0.15 meters which is the slab thickness click okay and again select parallel to the xz direction all plates are highlighted click assign click okay so check whether in 3d view it will be applied or not see here this is your flat slab without beams so there will be drop panels here at four edges okay so if it will be single story you will get only at one end if it will be multi story multi base so it will be it consists of uh, panels consists of four sides i will show you how it will be okay for that what i will do means just to before that go to the loading option loading option go to the loading load case details click add dead load self weight of the structure click add and again another load that is live load for that i will go with the live load uh, load case 2 plate load so load case 1 click add self weight of the structure click add close and again load case 2 click add plate load i will move with some minus 2 kilo newton per meter square in the global y direction click add close so first self weight of the structure assign to view and again this one pressure only for the plates for that select plate cursor so you can apply the load for the plates for that plates i will apply directly for the plates on the slabs assigned to the selected plates click yes so you are lo loading also apply to that particular plates then first give the support and then go for the analysis create the supports fixed support click add again support view front view and again select the nodes and again check in 3d whether our nodes are created selected or not click assign yes so then go to the analysis part so this is your analysis part simply i am telling how it will be click add close and again run analysis save the structure see how many errors are there if it will be zero errors then it will be fine So there will be zero errors click done so this is single base single story very simple if you want to create multi structures and how it will be the panels will look like means i will show you later i will go with the design again go to the supports remove the supports click delete okay so then see here this is single bay for that what i will do i will go with the geometry sorry select geometry cursor i will select the entire structure and again in the geometry fractional repeat in the z direction okay and uh, so in the z direction i will go with some 4 meter span only for that i will take 4 meter span click okay and again in the x direction again translational repeat i will move the x direction 5 meters of two steps click okay okay and again in the multi story structures i will go with i'll select entire the structure go to the translational repeat command go to y direction so with 3 meters step spacing of some 2 3 number of steps will be 2 i will restrict it to click okay see here 
this is how you have to create the multi structures but for loading case what we have to do means i will give directly plate plate load but here you will change this plate load to the floor loads in the range of y direction from 3 to 12 so already i explained this loading part in one way and two ways lab multi story structures in the same way you can apply the loading condition otherwise you can run analysis run analysis directly by using the plate load also okay so again go to the supports create supports fixed supports click add again select the supports go to view again front view select all the nodes and again check in 3d and again go to the fixed support assign selected to the nodes and again go to the analysis run analysis the structure click add close and again go to the analysis run analysis save the structure see here so again there will be zero errors click okay. so this is your analysis part then go to the design part and again here go to the concrete and again here go to the indian code of 456 so here you have to select the parameters so you will know what we have to select so we have to select the characteristic compressive strength of the concrete fy main reinforcement secondary reinforcement also we are selecting okay click okay we have to define the parameters fc i will take minimum 25 grade concrete for the 25 into 1000 click add and again fy main will be 450 and 500 so for that i will take 450 into 1000 again secondary reinforcement also i will go with the fisd bar only that is 450 and 500 again 450 into 1000 click add close and again you have to go to the commands so there will be no beams so exempt this one so there will be columns go to add column and again there will be slab add slab and again go to take off take off will be mandatory for each and every one then again fc characteristic compressive strength of the concrete for the entire structure go to yes and again main reinforcement will be for all the structures secondary for all the structures then design column only for the columns for that design column select parallel to the y axis go select and again design element again select parallel to the xz direction axis as a close so then again so your design part will be completed again go to the analysis part define commands all add close so run analysis the structure so save the structure again any errors are there so your design part also completed here there will be zero errors done see here this is how you have to design and analyze the structure so go to post processing again apply load 1 and load 2 click okay so check whether any movement in y direction or movement in z direction other again you can go to the animations and you can go to the plate stress contour so maximum absolute and again you have to apply you will see the stress types how it will be so there will be drop panels along with the slabs how it will be okay and again you can check different structures force limit outline of this structure section outline or full section how it will be so it consists of the columns and again section outline so you can check the 3d view how it will be in the modeling so in the 3d view how it will be and again you can check the results so i told you the panel for example in the for multi panels the drop panels will be like this it will be square in the shape for the middle one and this consists of two and for the edge one will consists of one like this it will be differentiate for single bay to the multiple bay okay so if you want you can check the individual plate results and column results also thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe our channel thank you so much